Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I am still in LA. Um, I'm currently about to go to EA Play for their last day. Um, also, me, Ricky, Crypto, and Woozilla are going to be checking into an Airbnb today. Um, so, basically my day is pretty busy, but it's not too busy to update you guys on what's going on with 2K. Right now, Mike Wing is active on Twitter once again. I'm not sure if anyone knows. I'm not sure if you guys follow him on Twitter. Um, I kind of told you guys in a previous video to make sure you follow Mike Wing because he's a dev for 2K and he's been asking a couple questions to the community. He's been responding to a, a few tweets here and there over this cycle. Now, NBA 2K19 is coming out. The cover athlete for the 20th anniversary edition was announced. We all know that that is LeBron James, but... Mike Wayne is asking questions about the shot meter. So, Mike Wayne asked, what is your favorite shot meter? NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17, or NBA 2K18? Now, I'm going to show you guys a screenshot where I voted. I voted for NBA 2K16. Now, the reason why I voted for NBA 2K16 is because I can actually remember that shot meter from that game. I liked it. It wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't the worst. I mean, NBA 2K18, really, I mean, the shot meter, to me, it really doesn't pop. It doesn't give me that, oh, I hit a green release. Because it's kind of like in the way of when I record gameplay. You know, it's right next to the player. really don't like it. It's not out of the way. It's not subtle. It's not like, you know, that type of transparent feel. At the bottom of the player, that ring around your player, it's more of in the way, right next to him. I, I really don't like it like that. Now, uh, one thing that I can let you guys know that with that shot meter having that curve in it from 2K18 and me not liking it, it doesn't mean that, you know, it shouldn't be in a game or it shouldn't be revamped because a couple people might like it. I mean, even NBA Live has a shot meter similar to that, but I'm just not into that for either game. I'm into those shot meters that have the ring around the player or I would probably be more entertained by uh, animation. And, you know, we'll talk about that later in this video. But basically, the shot meters from 2K16 and 2K17, they were somewhat similar. 2K17 had more of a revamp, uh, more stuff added to it. But one big thing, it kind of like broke like in between that cycle of NBA 2K17. A lot of people were having trouble hitting their shots. Um, some people would call it, you know, hey, the lag or, you know, the, the drop frames and, you know, how many people are in a server, the jitter. It's, it's just so much that people added to the problem of the shot meter itself when in 2K16 the shot meter was almost virtually the same, just a little bit different. A few new added tweaks to 2K17. No, no, no. Um, since I voted for 2K16, um, if that tweet is still available to vote on, I advise everybody uh, after this video to go over there and vote as well as voice their opinion. Now, if you go over there to that tweet, you might see a reply from me. And I just stated what I feel on shot meters, period. Because when you think about it, right, in a basketball game, you know, shot meter would be great. You know, it would be ideal because the person would acknowledge when they had that perfect stroke. Basically, you know, the perfect shot that that moment where you say, you know what? I might be the best ever. You know me, guys. I used to yell green every single time I would hit a green release. I mean, it's the epitome of literally like winning the lottery. That's that's how I felt, man. Every time I hit a green release. Now, sharpshooters, they would say, man, green releases ain't nothing to your boy. But I mean, for people like me with you know, playmakers and, you know, now this year, shot creators and stuff like that. I, it was so hard for me to hit green releases from long distance. I used to hit moving shot greens and stuff like that, but it just, it's not the same feeling. So let's talk about why I responded to Mike Wang's tweet that way. Um, basically, a lot of people was responding like, I mean, iPod, what do you mean? Why, why would you want to take the shot meter away? What, what's the problem? So basically... Mike Wayne's asking, you know, which shot meter do you like the most? And the crazy thing is they've introduced that you can change the color of your uh, shot meter last year. So, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, OK, if they can change the color. You think they can change the shot meter altogether? Do you think that they can add three shot meters in one game 
for you to choose that option, like a like some type of overlay to your game. And then I thought to myself, I mean, that would be cool. But then I thought maybe they're trying to figure out which shot meter was the best and which one they can innovate to make the fans happy, to make the community happy. And then I thought to myself, I don't even really need the shot meter. I mean, there's a lot of players out there that literally just turn the shot meter off because sometimes it messes with them looking at the flick of the wrist or the elbow, the release. It Sometimes it messes with that. And, you know, if you tend to depend on the shot meter a lot for offline in my career, that might not be the same instance when you're online. So online shot meter versus offline shot meter may be different depending on, like they say, lag, jitter, frame drops, all different kinds of stuff. So then I thought, you know, you know what happens when we get ankle breakers and stuff like that. Something pops up in the corner, you know, right over on overlay HUD saying ankle breaker, the badge pops up, Hall of Fame, gold, whatever you might have. Or, you know, when somebody hits that mid range dead eye, whatever the case may be, I was thinking to myself, why not have a dope animation in the HUD when you have a green release? You know, they're, the perfect release is cool. I mean, it's I mean, it's all right. But, you know, most of the time when you're shooting, it says good, it says late, it says smothered, stuff like that. But that green, I, I would love a dope animation on the HUD. I mean, something that screens out the pride to people that hit those green releases. So when you hit it, and it's up in that corner. It's like a dope acknowledgement. Like most of the time when people are watching footage on their cell, their cell phones and stuff like that, the screen is so small that, you know, when you get that green release and it pops up next to your player, your player is already small. Your player is about this big on the screen. You know, like literally like from watching this video, like when you're watching gameplay on 2K view, your player is about this big. So the shot meter is even smaller, especially on 18. So when you were hitting the green releases, you you yelling out green and everything, but it's not like that that the person that's watching isn't like, oh, oh snap, you know what I mean? Like think about it like this, and I and I always hate to do this, and I'm I'm gonna just say one thing real quick. I hate comparing games that have nothing to do with each other. I hate comparing games that are like a sports game versus a shooter and stuff like that. But think about it like this, right? When you're playing Call of Duty and you know you might do a kill streak or something like that and that thing pops up in the HUD. That's that's pretty dope, right? Now what about Fortnite when you get like a certain amount of uh animations for how many ever bullet damage you may be doing and stuff like that, or you might get a headshot and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of different animations you can add that would be dope for an overlay. Instead of just that little that little bar right there and just making it tip at the green and then like the whole bar goes green. I I mean it's so much you could do. I know you guys like this is a message to the devs. I know you guys are probably trying to focus on, you know, something that works, something that's direct, something that's gonna make the community happy. But also think about that overlay HUD. Think about it because I know there's probably a lot of people in the comment section right now thinking, yeah, I mean, I do turn the shot meter off a lot. And I mean, I would like the feedback to be a little bit more, but instead of just having feedback in the hood for your shot, give that dope animation, man. Make people be happy that they hit that green release. You know what I'm saying? Make the hood shake green or something. I don't know, man. Make the hawk pop out that thing. I don't know, bro. Hey, listen, man. I don't know what to say, man. I, all I know is I, I would love it. But um, yeah, so basically in my tweet, I was just saying, you know, um, I, I would be good without it. You know, if we had an overlay HUD pop up, that would be dope, you know. But for the most part, for 2K18, I had to keep it there. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, I'm hitting moving shots. So, when I all I say now is I'll be like, green. And, and, and that's so simple being subtle because not only am I doing a leaning shot baseline, which is cheese, but that's really like the extent of my green releases. You know what I'm saying? Now, I could do a snatch back. Uh, up at the three and then hit a three and they go green. But most of the time when I do a snatch back, the ball animation is all off and stuff like that. And that's that's another bug that they have to fix. But, you know, it's just, I don't know. Maybe I'll create a sharpshooter this year. Maybe I'm bugging. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. If you feel the same way, let's talk about it in the comments. If you feel a different way, let's talk about it in the comments, man. I'm going to see you guys below. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, make sure you guys turn on notifications. 
Um, as, as the news is coming in, I told you guys I'm going to be providing it for you. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy your day. Peace. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes and this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.